Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over another legendary leaked tier set for Outriders, and this is going to be the Grim set for the Technomancer. Now, before we get into the video, less than 5% of people that watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with all of my uploads. And like with all of the class specific tier sets in Outriders, this set focuses on two different abilities either through its tier set bonus or the mods on the armor pieces. And the first ability is Pain Launcher. Place a missile launcher and bomb the area in front of you. Each missile deals damage per hit and interrupts enemy skills. So essentially, you place down this missile turret that then shoots a barrage in a straight line. So however you place it is where it's going to shoot. And it has a pretty big distance and a pretty decent width of everything it hits because it's a ton of small explosions that all explode as it travels forward. And then the second ability is Tools of Destruction. Conjure a rocket launcher that can interrupt enemies or a minigun that deals damage per shot. The skill will remain active until all ammo is depleted or until you switch weapons. And how this actually works or how the devs explain this works is you choose either or. You don't say get the rocket launcher then you can switch to the minigun and use the ammo of both of them, you choose one or the other. And the rocket launcher, as it says, interrupts, but the rocket launcher is also AOE damage and does a pretty big amount of damage per shot, but has less ammo. Then the minigun is more sustained single target damage. And the tier set bonus for this set is while Tools of Destruction is active, a confirmed hit with Pain Launcher refills 20% ammunition for both minigun and the RPG. This only happens once for each Tool of Destruction use. So essentially, when you use Tools of Destruction and choose either the RPG or the minigun, and then you use Pain Launcher and hit an enemy with it, you will get 20% of your ammo back for your Tools of Destruction. And we haven't been able to play around with the Tools of Destruction ability in the demo, but from what the developers have showed and talked about, this is going to be an incredibly strong ability in terms of how much damage it can put out. And this is actually a pretty unique tier set bonus because both the abilities that the set focus on actually synergize with each other just on the tier set bonus itself but it also does pretty much force you into using both of these abilities or the tier set bonus is completely useless and there's not a reason to use a set so first we have grim inventor's mask and the tier three for this is rocket man for tools of destruction you cannot fire three additional rockets and this is only for the rpg and what you'll notice with a bunch of the mods for tools of destruction that they usually focus on one of the options because every time you use this ability, you can choose either or to use. And this one specifically allows you to fire three more rockets, which seems to be pretty strong because when the devs talked about it, it doesn't seem like it's going to have a ton of ammo. So three additional rockets is pretty significant. And the tier one is upgraded gun for tools of destruction. Active minigun grants 20% resistance piercing bonus. So essentially, this allows you to pierce resistances better when using the minigun. Next up, we have Grim Inventor's Coat. And the tier three for this is Cannonade for Pain Launcher. Increases the number of rockets launched by 10. So like I said, when going over this skill, it launches a barrage of rockets that all deal their own damage. And this just increases the amount of rockets actually launched. Now I'm not certain how this is gonna work, if it's gonna make the ability longer, or if it just gives the ability more overall damage. Then the tier one on this is four to five for Tools of Destruction. Active Minigun grants almost 400,000 armor bonus. Now it's going to be quite a bit less armor because these pieces are higher level than can actually be obtained in the game, but comparing the numbers on these items and some of the items officially released by the developers, this seems like it's going to be a massive armor bonus. You're going to become incredibly tanky while using minigun with this mod. Next, we have Grim Inventor's Gloves, and the two three for this is not impressed, reduces the damage taken from elites by 20%. Now, I've gone over this a bunch of times. It's been on a bunch of pieces with these leaked armor sets, and like I said before, I'm not sure if this is on all these pieces just because 
It's a more general use mod, and it's to fill in some of the slots that they don't have completely unique mods for, or if this was just an issue with how these items were obtained, or there's also a possibility that it doesn't show if mods were rolled in this specific window in the game. Not certain about that. But like I said before, overall, this mod is decent, but I think there's going to be a lot better of tier 3 mods. Then the other mod is Advanced Rockets for Pain Launcher. Every rocket deals 32,000 more damage, and this seems to be a pretty decent damage increase for Pain Launcher, because this is all also for every rocket and multiple rockets can hit the same target. Next, we have Grim Inventor's Leg Armor, and the tier 3 for this is Special Delivery for Tools of Destruction. Increases the rocket's explosive radius by 25%, so it essentially increases the radius of damage that the rocket launcher is going to deal, making it much better for AoE damage. Then the other mod is Portable Armory for Tools of Destruction. You can fire one additional rocket, so this is just the tier 1 version of the tier 3 mod we already went over. I'm also wondering if there's going to be a tier 2 version of this, because now you can, if you stack both with those mods you can fire four additional rockets i could definitely see a build having both of those and possibly if there's a tier two one that does the same just stacking up the amount of rockets you can fire to have just a ton of rockets every time you use the ability then finally, we have Grim Inventor's Boots, and the 2-3 for this is Bigger Sector for Pain Launcher. Launch rockets cover 45% more area, and I'm wondering if this means length or width, or if it means both. It could possibly mean both. I'm leaning more towards it means length, because it already has a pretty long length, but I'm assuming this means that they go further back. So it's a straight line. It doesn't increase the width, but increases the length. That's what I'm leaning more towards. And then we have Reign of Pain for Pain Launcher. Just increases the skill's cooldown by 34%. And this is a pretty massive cooldown reduction for a tier 1 mod. And also helps a lot with making sure you have this up 100% of the time. So you can always have this up when you use your tools of destruction. So that is the entirety of the Grim class set for the Technomancer. Seems like a decent set, but without playing around with Tools of Destruction, I'm not sure on how strong this set is actually going to be yet, because I'm also not sure how well Tools of Destruction is going to scale once you get later into the endgame. If they still do really high damage into the endgame, this would definitely be a very strong set. So subscribe if you want to see more Outriders or other videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this set, and thanks for watching.